What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Star Wars Day! May the 4th be with you as we here on the Curtis Zone, we love us uh, some Star Wars content and we haven't done it in so long. So today, here on the Curtis Zone, I thought it'd be a great idea to talk about Darth Revan. To do a How Powerful Would Someone Be episode on Darth Revan. We here on the Curtis Zone, we have asked ourselves, how powerful would Darth Revan be if he had the powers of Professor Xavier, Fire Breather, and Dr. Fate? So, let's get started on this episode. Remember, get in that comment section down below. And for those of you who do not know how these How Powerful Would Someone Be episodes work, I, your ever so amazing host, give you the stats of the character, as well as a, a quick origin. Then I give you the stats on all the things that they're going to be using, and then you, the viewer, leave in the comment section down below how powerful you think the character would be if they had all this stuff combined to their own power. Now, I only have one piece of news this today, and this news is this. This December, I will be doing my first ever giveaway, my gift to the fans thing that I got going. So here's what you're going to be receiving. Third place will receive an email from me of my book, a book that I wrote called Abnormal Ancestors, The Masters of the Martial Arts. It is a three, it is a three part series that goes like this, Masters of the Martial Arts, The Secret City, and Final Wars. What is the book about you may ask? Read it and find out. Second place will receive this, the complete series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 2005. And for those of you who really want this, you know that I will give it to you. I will mail it to you in the in the mail and you will receive it because I love the fans. The first place winner will receive this. My complete collection of Power Rangers from Mighty Morphin to Dino Supercharge. Yes, you want this. How do you enter, you may ask? Every time I post an episode on how powerful would someone be, you, the viewer, Get in the comment section down below and post as many comments as possible. The first place will receive the complete collection of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and, and second and third will receive all the gifts that I said, but I am limiting this to the US and Canada. So to our international Curtis Zone family, I'm sorry, I can't do much for you. Remember, every time I post a How Powerful Will Someone Be episode, you have to get in the comment section and post as many comments as possible. Then. Uh, you have to keep doing that till December 15th, and then I will announce the winners the following week. I love you all, but I'm limiting this. Like I said, I'm limiting this to the U.S. and Canada, so our international community, we love you all, but there's nothing we can do. Oh, let's get into this How Powerful Will Someone Be episode. We asked ourselves, how powerful would Darth Revan be if he had the powers of Professor Xavier, Fire Breather, and Dr. Fate? Remember to get in that comment section down below and tell me how powerful you think the character would be. But for right now, let's give a little bit on his origin, shall we? Prince Royce. Who? Big Snoop Dogg. What? She got me stuck on the feeling. She got me stuck on the now, as far as his non-fiction origin go, goes, Darth Revan was created by Drew Carpenter for the video game known as Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It was later expanded on, on his origin in Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith. But, and he started hitting print form in Knights of the Old Republic Revan in 2005, which is now a bestseller. Now, that's all I know about his non-fiction origin. Let's get into his fictional origin, shall we? And then we're going to talk a little bit more about his powers. At an early age, Darth Revan would be trained by both Jedi and Sith under the eye of Darth Treya, who was exiled by both Jedi and Sith and turned on both. It was from that early age when Darth Treya discovered that Revan had a strong connection to the Force, and so he, was, he would be trained by both Jedi and Sith. However, he would pick up on their lessons very, very quickly, and it was then realized that he had a mastery of the Force even at such a young age. Skipping some stuff here and there, after becoming Jedi Knight at a very young age, he would form a team known as the Jedi Crusaders to fight against the Mandalorians in the Mandalorian Wars. This is where he would find his mask, and he swore he would never take off this mask until every last Mandalorian is dead, which he did. He defeated the leader of the Mandalorian army in single combat. And if you knew who the Mandalorians are, you know why that's impressive. Now, as far as his powers go, he has been described by his master as the Force Personified. 
She said, and I quote, Looking into Darth Revan's eyes was like looking into the eyes of the Force itself. A, a person like this is extremely dangerous. So, Darth Revan's master, the person that trained him, called him the Force Personified. And his power is equivalent to that of Darth Vader, if not even more. As far as his feats of, of combat go, Darth Revan is extremely skilled with a lightsaber. So skilled, in fact, that he used his telekinetic powers to wield four lightsabers at once. Which means he had two lightsabers in the air flying around like a couple of helicopter blades. He is so skilled that he wields two lightsabers. One with the power of the dark side, the one with the power of the light side. Darth Revan always blurred the lines between Jedi and Sith. Which is what makes him so powerful. As far as feats of intelligence go, Darth Revan is a skilled tacticianer. So skilled at tacticianing that he created a team to defeat the Mandalorians. An army of the Mandalorians. He created the a team of Jedi to defeat the Mandalorians. And he the Mandalorians have described him as the most deadliest tacticianer in history. This is incredible because if you have seen the Mandalorian series, you know how skilled they are at both lightsaber combat and at bounty hunting. This is no minor feat. Defeating the Mandalorians, no minor feat. As far as feats of speed go, Darth Revan is incredibly skilled with lightsaber and all forms of lightsaber combat. And, he's, and his speed in lightsaber combat rivals that of Darth Vader and his nemesis, Darth Malak. So much so that Another Sith Lord had to create the rule of two in order to make sure that no one ended up like Darth Revan. Some other powers that he has is telekinesis, teleportation, energy absorption, energy manipulation, force absorption. He even has precognition, which means he can see the future. He once saw his own death. He sees his own death a lot and he was able to prevent his own death. Another ability that he has is when he died. That is one of the most important things about him. When he died, his soul was split in two. One half becoming part of the light side, which became one with the force, the other half part of the dark side and becoming a dark version of him. It was amazing to see this because this, I think this is the only time that anyone has ever become half light side and half dark side. Now that that's done, let's talk about all the things that he's gonna use. And remember, like and subscribe. How powerful is Professor X, you may ask? Here's the thing. He has been described as the most powerful telepath by all comic book fans everywhere. He might be, due to the fact that he is the most powerful telepath. Yes, I said it. If not in Marvel comic books, then in all of comic books itself. One ability that he has with his telepathy is the fact that he can freeze anyone and stop them from doing anything. He can also, and listen to this part very carefully, he can alter the perception of reality itself. Mean that he can get so deep inside of your mind that he can alter everything that you see around you, making you see what is not there. If he wanted to, he can make you see your deepest fear and help you overcome it. However, Professor X is mostly a therapist and a scientist and a geneticist, meaning that he does not kill. And because of this, he doesn't use his full potential sometimes. But imagine his, his power in the hands of Darth Revan. Now as far as Dr. Fate's power goes, it goes a little something like this. Dr. Fate has nearly God level abilities. So God level abilities that he can do anything to anyone with his magic. Now his magic is so powerful that it ha that he can rewrite reality. One minor feat that he did, I have to say it, it was in the Young Justice series when he took on all the weapons of the war world and was able to just to defeat them no problem. He also has teleportation, energy projection, energy manipulation, magic manipulation, magic sensing. It is incredible what he can do. He also has astral projection, flight, super speed. It is amazing all the things that he can do. He once reactivated Jon Stewart's powers and after Jon Stewart 
connection to the Lantern Corps was severed. He also reactivated the powers of the Martian Manhunter. So, imagine this power in the hands of Darth Revan. Now, Duncan the Fire Breather is a very rare breed of half-human, half-dragon. Here's the thing about his powers. He is indeed so strong that he can take on 20-foot monsters in bare knuckled and win no problem. He also has incredible scales which make him invincible, fireproof, heat resistant to 50,000 degrees, and he can even has amazing agility, amazing speed, amazing wings, and he can breathe fire. Yes, a fire breather can breathe fire. So imagine all this power in the hands of Darth Revan and you tell me how powerful you think he is. With all that said and done, another episode of the Curtis Zone has come to a close, ladies and gentlemen. I ask that you hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, I will be announcing the winner this coming December 15th. So get in that comment section and make as many comments as possible. Because as you know, we love it when you do. I know it's very soon to do another How Powerful Will Someone Be episode, but I miss Star Wars Day. And I don't want to ever miss Star Wars Day ever again. Now, as always, Give some love to our sponsors, Coastal Waste and Recycling, because as you know, your garbage powers someone's world. I love you all. I will see you soon, and I will be giving you more episodes as we talk all things action-packed children's programming. I'll see you soon.